welcome back to my channel. I am in Sydney and we are currently in a lockdown. We have been for the past three weeks and I think it's gonna be going on for a while longer. While we've been in lockdown, I've been doing a bit of filming. I've been wanting to start vlogging a little bit more. So this is the perfect time to start. I have a little package from Dolls Kill that they sent me. I was gonna be using a bunch of this stuff for upcoming shows and shoots and stuff, but obviously none of that is happening at the moment. So I'm just gonna do a little show and tell because I don't know when I'm actually gonna be able to wear this stuff and I'm excited by it. And you guys might find it interesting if you're somewhere else in the world where you can actually go out and do things, then and uh, you might like to know what these things look like. So I'll run through the show and tell and then I'll show you all the other stuff that we've been up to the last three weeks. Shady, what have we got? <gasps> More dolls kill stuff. So I'll start with the mint outfit. This is new and it's like a little corset-esque crop top. And it goes along with this skirt. Needs an iron. Which is just like a little kind of school skirt. And you guys will know if you saw my last Dolls Kill haul that I got these boots in pink. They were so comfortable. I wore them to a gig up in Brisbane and wore them the entire day. And when I say the entire day, I mean from like 8.30 in the morning until like midnight when we got home. They were so comfortable. So I had to get another set of these in the mint color. It all goes really nicely together. And uh, yeah, that is the mint outfit. I got these shoes in black as well. And these are just solid. They're solid shoes that are really easy to walk in and they just look really cool. So got them in black as well. I also got this little kind of accessory set with two of these gloves and then also these kind of stockings. They're open-ended, so I wouldn't wear them unless I had like boots or closed toed shoes because I feel like it'd look a bit funny. But these are the thigh high stocking things. And then I got this fake leather skirt. I love this so much, it fits so well. I like this too because it's longer at the back so you don't have um, any flashes going on. So cool, so it comes with this chrome belt and this little like bag attachment. And I got that to go with this. I thought this was a bodysuit when I saw it on the site. It's so pretty, such a pretty color. It looks like that, but obviously not a bodysuit. But this actually just comes with a thong. So I'm not gonna show you that, but I will show you this with the black skirt on. And then the last outfit I got is a matching tracksuit set. I love matching tracksuit sets. Clearly, this is a really cool one from Darker Waves. Darker Webs? Darker, what is it? Darker Webs. So it's kind of this camouflage print with some neon yellow greeny stitching. It's got a nice big hood and a pocket at the front. And then I have the matching tracksuit pants. They've got a pocket on the back and pockets at the front. And this has your little neon tabs on the end of it. And then I got a matching top. You would have seen this in my latest BTS cover, but it's a see-through top. And on the end, it has fingerless gloves. I love when you have tops that go down and either your thumb pokes through or in this case, you have the fingerless gloves. So I'll show you what all of this looks like together. This wasn't from Dolls Kill, but I did get these ridiculous shoes recently from Pleaser. And I don't actually know how I'm gonna walk in these. They're very, very, very high. But a friend of mine can source these. So I got a really good deal on them. And I was like, you know what, why not? Let me get some. So these are the first pair that I got. And then the other set are these patent shoes as well. But I just got these for options for video shoots and photo shoots and stuff because I didn't have a huge range of colors and styles or whatever in my heels. But yeah, that is my mini haul. Now I'm gonna show you some of the fun stuff I've been up to for the past three weeks. Exciting stuff coming up. I'm going up to Brisbane with Mike tonight to see Bonka and hang out with them. I've got a new song coming out with them very soon and we're shooting the music video for it while we're up there tomorrow. And then on Saturday we have a live Live show at a festival which is gonna be really fun as well so I thought I would just bring you along uh, for the ride and uh, hopefully you enjoy it we have just arrived at the uh, studio We're going to get coffees and there's like chickens 
obviously I'm going to be trying to befriend them all day. Not how Michael. I'm waiting. We're just having a break from the music video because we're changing locations and we can't get into the next place until 5 30. We've got about an hour to just like chill, looking like a normal person. Yeah, just casually out for a drink, kind of casual afternoon baby. Uh. <laughs> All right, boys, where are we going? We're going jet skiing. Jet. <laughs> what a monster! What are the specs? It's fast. <laughs> So we only found out yesterday that we are coming jet skiing and we didn't pack anything for water activities because it's winter. So all I have are some cow breeze trackies and Mike, what do you got? You're borrowing so, uh, Lovely. It's definitely windy. Are you excited, Mike? No. No. The tank. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. Mike Kwiatowski. We just got off the jet ski. Where'd you go, Mike? Look my hair. Our hair is just disgusting. Horrendous. So much fun, but also extremely windy. I feel like all the moisture is gone from my eyeballs, but good times. Good times. But yeah, now we're on our way to go and get my tattoo. I will uh, show you what it looks like when we're there. I can fall in, heard a heartbeat calling, tried to throw the spark as it was sitting up like a West Side Story. Crossed my open borders, the gates were out of order, pulled the world apart, but show me the door. Guys, I've been terrible with vlogging. I think the last thing you would have seen in this vlog is me going to get my tattoo. It's done. It is looking really cute. And the day after I got my tattoo, Sydney went into lockdown. We've just been hanging at home. We have Leo and we have Shady and Mike is over there. So Leo is technically Mike's parents' dog, but we just happened to have him at our place when the lockdown started. So he's hanging out with us, aren't you darling? So Shady has a little friend with him too. So I'm just gonna like take you around what I'm doing today. It's probably not gonna be that interesting, but what else is there to do in lockdown? It's a beautiful day in Sydney, even though it's winter, it's very sunny. So we're gonna go out with the puppies. Should we go to the park? Zoom! We are on our way to the park. Got the doggies in the back. Leo usually hates the park. He always takes forever to walk through, but um, Shady loves it. Cause there's always a million dogs down here and we love it cause it's by the water, so. Got back from our WALK. I can't say the word because the dogs will get triggered again. Having lunch, I made a vegan noodle soup and Mike. What are you having, Mike? It's a roll. Very nice. And then after lunch, I'm just going to water all of my plants. Very exciting. Come on in. This is where Mike and I live. I haven't ever done a house tour, so we can do it while I water some plants. So obviously, this is our kitchen slash living area. So I don't know about you guys, but I love watching plant videos. This is my fiddle leaf feet that I found on the side of the road. It was very sad when I first found it, but now it's living its best life. It's just got new foliage, it's doing its thing. Over here, 
I have this cute little succulent that I found in the city, just broken off. This is dying, which is very sad. I don't know what's what's going on there. And this is also dying and terrible and I wanna paint this pot, but anyway. This is another thing I found on the side of the road. So I saved it. I need a ladder to get to them. So I'll get them later. They're, you know, they're a work in progress. They're meant to then eventually take over the kitchen. This plant, I also found on the side of the road with that one. This was so sad. And for a couple of months, we had a huntsman living in this. I found out when I was watering it and it terrified me. But I also like, I feel really bad about killing animals. Spiders are disgusting, but they didn't choose to be the disgusting, horrendous creatures that they are. And so we just kind of like let it live its life. And every now and then it'd come out and we try and capture it. This is like the best invention ever. So we got this spider catcher. So you can, you know, get get the spider, but I'm terrible at catching them. And I'm always the one that sees the spiders and Mike will be like, oh, just go get it. So I try and then we run away. And then the first time Mike tried, love it. It's a very sad one. It's starting to come back to life, but we're working on that one. We're working on that one. This is one of the first plants I bought when we moved into this house. It's just a giant piece of lily and I love it. And it's loving its life at the moment. This is my uh, Brazil, philodendron it's new so it's just you know adapting to the space sussing the vibes we have a new little leaf up here which i'm excited about we've got some you know random cuttings i have them everywhere this little fun bunch of plants i don't know what what all the names are i just i just see i see what i like and i get it this is from my orma she um, got this little one for me. And this is from my friend, Nick. And he bought me this cute little bunch of plants. My string of pearls there. I have a better one outside. The one outside is much more happy. This is just some off cuts from another plant that I have. And uh, it's starting to come to life, which is cool. I love this little cheese plant. I want this to go everywhere. This was our Christmas tree. Because I didn't want to get a Christmas tree that we'd have to store somewhere and it only come out once a year. So I had this and I hung a whole bunch of stuff of it and then I didn't know what to do with it. So then I put this together and we have this now, hopefully will become a tree. This is my begonia. I think that's what this is. That's like the coolest, look at it. It's got like silver sparkly dots. So this, I don't know what this is called. The kinds of either philodendrons or, or I don't know what the other word is, but look up here. I have all of my cute little avocado seed trees. Oh, this one's a little bit wonky. Just need to stand you up. They're all coming along. Some of them are doing better than others, but it's so fun. If you guys want to know how to do this, let me know or look up a video, either or. All right, so apart from the plants up the top there, I think that's all the ones in here that need water. Let's come on through here. So there is a bathroom there. And then this is Mike's studio. Turn on the light in here. He only has one plant so far because I don't spend a lot of time in this room. And so this is the plant that I bought for this space. This is like a silver leaf philodendron. It was very sad and you know, like a little bit bruised. It was on sale in a plant store. So I have rescued it and hopefully it will flourish. Come through here. So yeah, this is uh, still a work in progress. We still have to hang up some, you know, artwork and all that kind of stuff, but come on through. Now, this is my studio. I am moving it all around. So there's stuff everywhere, but I am going to come in here and water my plant. This is my Monstera and I love it. This is a room that gets not heaps of light. It does have a skylight in this room. So this one's kind of like, it's doing okay, but it could do better. All right. And my favorite room in the house. This is our bedroom. Um, this is a cutting from a plant outside that I brought back to life when we moved in. Um, this was another like cutting from one of my parents' plants. I think it might be a philodendron as well, but it is just starting to come to life. It had a lot of weird little leaves. This is my devil's ivy, one of many that I have in this room because I love it. This one's just a bunch of random plants that I've put together. I think there are three in here. I don't know what they're called. Now, Mike's desk, when we first moved in, he said I could only put one plant on his desk and that was this plant. And as you can see over time, I've increased his, his plants. So we have this one again. I don't know what this one's called, but it's pretty. 
I have a philodendron there. This is just some ivy that we found on the side of the road that I put in a pot. This I found on the side of the road, so I'm just throwing it out. This I bought, and then my mum had this plant and it was just like two little curled up sad leaves. And now I have been able to bring it to life. I want it to get big and bushy and then I'll give it back to her. And then this is a little Kokodama and it is a Philodendron Birkin. And it has these really cool variegated leaves. It was in a quite a dark space. So it went from like a really light leaf to like very dark leaves. So I bought it in here. And as you can see, the next one is so white, so bright, love it. This cactus again was something that I just like pinched off another plant. I think it was like this height when I first got it and it has just gone crazy and it's got a whole bunch of new pups on it and I'm like loving it. This is my amazing devil's ivy. I've got two vines going up and over the window now. We can't actually close that blind because of the plants, but you know, Mike also didn't want a plant on his bedside table, but uh, we have a jade plant here. This is the, no, I don't know what this is called, but it's variegated and it's really pretty. And this is what the cuttings from that other plant were from. And then I have my other fiddle leaf here. This one's kind of been on a journey, so it uh, it could look better, but it doesn't. And then over here, I just put this one up and over this. I think it looks so nice. I had it over there originally, but now it is over here. And um, just these cute little babies over here. I don't even know where they're from, but they are together. And then this giant lucky bamboo. Mike bought me this. A while ago. But this is the top of those two bits of bamboo that were out in the front there and they have grown new things. It's a little bit sad, but yeah. Anyway, that's all my plants and this is our house. Mike, we forgot to show two rooms. So we have another bathroom that Mike's gonna show. This is our bathroom. <laughs> Wow. There's another plant up there. That one is um, on, on a journey. It's, uh, yeah, it will hopefully bush up. And then this again is from the plant outside. I've just got it in a fishbowl thing. And um, yeah. And then what else do we have, Mike? Uh, laundry, I'm assuming. Here we have laundry. Oh, wow. Content. Content. So we've cleaned up our backyard or our front yard, whatever you want to call it. Just trying to work out how long a runner would be because Leo has trouble getting from here to there. And that's the size of the runner. I think that looks pretty good. What do you reckon? Does that work for you? But yeah, so that's, that's kind of like all the interesting plants. Now you know what my house is like. So I think we're gonna take the dogs for an afternoon walk now and I have some sewing and some moving of the studio furniture to do. Gonna go walkies? Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the kitchen. I have spent the afternoon moving around my studio, but it's not done, so I won't show you yet, but it is time for some food. They are frozen at the moment, but we're gonna steam some vegan masaman buns. We had the uh, green curry versions of these before and they were delicious, so we're trying these ones. We're also gonna have some vegan pork gyoza. These are new as well, so we're trying these out. And then we just got a really nice um, roasted cauliflower salad to have on the side. So it's good to have your uh, veggies, yes? So we're just doing that and then, oh, shady. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, yum. I'll give you five for now. And then three. So very interesting. You never even realize how interesting my life is. Wow. Well. Um, so what else can... So uh, coming up next week, I have two songs coming out with DJs and then I just finished off the vocals for my next single, which is very exciting. So that should hopefully be coming out very soon as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if there's any other kind of stuff you'd like to know about, if you have questions or anything like that. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.